Hey everyone, welcome back to Teacher FYI. If you're new here, I'm Mackenzie and I teach fifth grade in Northern California. I am teaching virtually the entire year, so I am sharing all my tips and experiences to hopefully help you during this challenging year. Thank you so much for supporting this new channel. If you are new here and have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that subscribe button and please give this video a thumbs up. That is always appreciated as it allows more teachers to discover these videos. So something I'm hearing that a lot of teachers need right now, myself included, is time. Many of us are in new situations this year, whether you're teaching virtually, hybrid, or in person. Our teaching is requiring the use of more technology that we need to learn to navigate and that we need to teach our students how to navigate. And all of that can be so time consuming. We are spending more time helping our students not only with learning content, but also learning how to navigate new technology. It is a lot. So in today's video, I'm sharing seven Chrome extensions to hopefully make your life a little bit easier and save you more time in the classroom. So let's get started. The first Chrome extension is Google Docs Quick Create. So this is a great time saver because it allows you to instantly create new Google Docs for Google Drive directly from your browser bar. So to download a Chrome extension, you go to the Chrome Web Store and you can search for the extension you are looking for. We are starting with Google Docs Quick Create, so I will type that into the search bar and download it. Now that it's downloaded, it will stay next to the browser bar with all my other Chrome extensions, and then when I want to use it, I just click it from the list. So with the Google Docs Quick Create extension, I don't have to go back to the Google homepage to start a new Google Doc or Google Slides. Instead, I can click this Chrome extension right at the top of my browser bar and immediately start a new Google Doc, spreadsheet, presentation, drawing, or form. So no matter what you're working on or what web page you're browsing, when you get that new bright idea to start something new, you can easily click the Chrome extension and it will open up a new Google Doc, a new Google Slide, or a new Google Sheet so that you can get started right away. The second Chrome extension is Moat. So this has been a total game changer for my online classroom. It allows you to easily record voice notes as comments or feedback on your students' online assignments. It works with Google Suite apps and Google Classroom. So when you open up a student assignment, the place where you would normally add a private comment, you can instead click the Moat button and you can record a voice note, giving them more specific feedback in less time. This is such a huge time saver because it allows me to add more specific feedback to each student because it is faster for me to talk than to actually type out what I want to say to every student. I love that your students can actually hear your voice when giving them their feedback. That way it makes it more meaningful. They can actually hear your tone, which I think is important when they're hearing that feedback and having less time with you in person this year. So when you open up the Moat extension, you can adjust the settings and enable the transcription. This means that when you record your voice note, it will also have the written comment already transcribed so your student can read the comment too. So if I wanted to leave a comment on the student's work, the Moat icon is already in the comment section and I simply click and record my note. I then click it again when I'm done recording. I can click the edit icon to open up the transcription to make sure it made sense and then save it. Your student can then listen to your comment or read the transcription once it's posted. This is something I now regularly use and I have 33 students this year and it really has cut my grading time down. The third extension is Screencastify. This is definitely one of my most used tools. It allows you to do a screen recording while also embedding your webcam so your students can actually see your face while you record. After you record, it automatically saves to your Google Drive and you have the option to share it as a link. You can send it directly to Google Classroom or you can download the video. There are so many ways to use Screencastify. You could use it as video feedback for your students. You can use it as a read aloud, mini lessons, and a new way that has really saved me time is using it as quick little tech lessons for my students. So recently, for example, I had a student email me that they needed help navigating and knowing how to use a piece of technology. And so I was easily able to do a quick screen recording that was really specific to them on their question and email them that screen recording right away in just a couple of minutes. It also works great if you want to do a quick video announcement for your students so they can actually see you, or maybe you're going to be absent one day and you want to give a little video video message to them and leave that in Google Classroom. I love that it is a really user-friendly tool and it has saved me time because I can instantly start recording and I can instantly share the moment after I record it. The fourth Chrome extension is Save to Google Drive. This is a very simple Chrome extension and has definitely saved me time. So it allows you to save web content, images, and browser screenshots directly to your drive. So for example, if I find an image I want to use, I can right click or click with two fingers and select to Save to Google Drive. You also have the option to save screen captures and entire web pages with that extension. 
So you can manage the extension and go to options, then choose if you want to use the Save to Google Drive extension to save images of the entire web page or just the part that is visible. I want to only save screenshots of the visible part of web pages, so I'm going to select that option. Then if I want to screen capture this map from the website, then when I click the Save to Google Drive extension, it will save just the part of the screen that I can see here. If I select image of entire page, then when I click the extension, it will save the entire web page as an image. Now this has saved me a lot of time because before I was taking a lot of just manual screenshots, it was filling up my desktop, and then I had to spend time organizing all my files. So Save to Google Drive allows me to save any web content, any screenshot, directly to my drive, and then it doesn't take up space on my computer. So this extension can definitely save you time and help you get more organized. Chrome extension five is Google Keep. So this is a great tool to help you stay organized, which in the end helps you save a lot of time. Google Keep is a Google Suite app where you can keep notes, reminders, lists of tasks. It's where I really like to keep all of my to-do lists and take notes during staff meetings and professional developments so everything is in one place. You can add drawings, images, notes, checkboxes, and really personalize it. So having the Google Keep Chrome extension means you can access all these notes even quicker. It allows you to save web pages, images, quotes, all with one click. I know as teachers, our to-do lists are getting longer and longer, and sometimes it's hard to keep track of everything. So the moment I remember something I need to add to that to-do list, then I can easily click that Chrome extension and it will take me to keep so that I can add in that note. Also, if you're on a web page and you want to just grab some of that information that you have learned from that website, then you will save the link so that you can refer back to it later. And then it also allows you to leave notes, whether it's a note for yourself or you can highlight directly from the web page and it will put that information in the note. Anything that helps us stay more organized in the ends can save us a lot of time. And that is why I do love using Google Keep. The sixth Chrome extension is Web Paint. So this is such a cool extension. It allows you to draw and paint, annotate directly onto Google Slides, Google Docs, or even web pages. So when you open up Web Paint, it opens up this toolbar so you can draw, paint, and add text directly to the screen you have open. So for example, if I wanted to use this for a mini lesson in Google Slides, then I love that I can actually show my students how to group different objects if I was teaching them how to multiply. Or you can use it in Google Docs, so if you have a student essay that you're editing or giving feedback to, then you can actually draw and paint directly onto that assignment, and then your students can see your edits by taking a screenshot using the little camera button and attaching their feedback that way. I think one of the best features of WebPaint is that you actually can annotate on live web pages. So if I was on a website and I wanted to show my students how to navigate navigate that website or where to type in their name, then I can actually annotate while they're watching me and I can circle where they're supposed to input their information and they can easily see that. And then I can save that screen capture for them to refer back to. Before I knew about WebPaint, I was taking so many screenshots and then annotating afterwards. And this has really made it possible that during live sessions, I can directly annotate live with my students to show them different parts of websites. The seventh Chrome extension is for those of you who use Google Classroom. So this is called Add to Google Classroom. So this extension allows you to share any website with your students really quickly and easily. So for example, if I found a really cool website or video that I wanted to share immediately to my students, then I can click the Add to Google Classroom extension, and then I can immediately make it an announcement or assignment for my students. It then shares it directly to Google Classroom, and then my students are able to immediately visit that website. Honestly, those little time-saving tricks, even if they are just saving seconds and minutes, really add up, and we need everything we can get. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I know these Chrome extensions have really helped me stay more organized and save time. I know as teachers, we are so busy, especially during this time, so I really hope that these Chrome extensions help you. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everyone.